Hello everybody, time again. Uh, I'm gonna make a, a, another toad, it's gonna be uh, purple and no, it's gonna be bl black and purple. Um, one really, really good combination for, for fishing for tarpon, and um, I'm gonna, gonna make it unweighted. Um, you never know, you know, shadow water, big fish. You don't want to have all your flies weighted, right? So I, I'm going to continue to tie on this uh, RX uh, Trio hook. Uh, it's the SA270 uh, Blue Water hook. I like it. It's sharp. It's uh, it's tough. Um, it's going to be interesting to, to, to try the flies now in uh, May uh, in Belize. Um, okay, you know, why, why don't we start tying? Come on. Okay, so we got the trio hook there from RX, the SA270 uh, Blue Water. So let me attach the thread to the hook. Doing it quickly. There we are. Going backwards. I think I'm gonna stop around here. Yeah, so tail black marabou. Uh, these are the let me see uh, strong marabou uh, black. I like the strong actually. Uh, the last fly I tied uh, wasn't with the strong. Strong is much better. So go with the strong marabou. Tying it in uh, properly to secure it to the hook. It's gonna, uh, if it's lucky, it's gonna uh, enjoy the company of a tarpon. And there we are. Properly attached to the hook. Uh, I'm using a GSP thread. So, I want to have a little bit of crystal flash, just yes, two strands on each side, nothing fancy. Tighten it in. Uh, in this case, I can just fold it over the other side, tighten it in and secure there we are so I'm just gonna shorten it a little bit now we have crystal flash in the wing as well looking good actually I'm gonna wax the thread it's a tarpon fly, I know, not the classic, but I'm gonna varnish it just to make sure that the purple uh, rabbit sunker I'm gonna tie in gonna actually stick very, very good. At this point, I don't want to have any glue in my. Uh, in my fly. So I tie it in properly with a lot of GSP thread. Folding the rabbit sunker. Highlight. Just wrap it around the hook. Let me see where it is. There it is, okay. Folding. And this this one is gonna create so much movement in the water. It's gonna catch the water as well, but in this case it doesn't matter.
there's enough. So go the backwards with the thread. Secure that piece of sunker. As mentioned, uh, this one is going to be unweighted. There they are. So we're going to cut the leftovers. And tie in the end of that one. Nice volume. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit actually. There we go. And then I have this uh, bait fish fiber. I'm gonna cut it in a few lengths, a few pieces. There we are. So I'm gonna add it on top. Drag it backwards. Securing it uh, properly to make sure it's where we want it to be without getting stuck in the hook. The first piece is attached, so let's go for the second one. And there we have two pieces in place, building up the head, adding the third.
Vimeo. It's holding it backwards a little bit and a little bit of threading in the front. So the next step, another one. Tying it in properly. A few wraps in the front. Actually, the whole bay out. Now it's starting to look like a toad. So I'm gonna add another one. Making it tight. Tight wraps from behind to the front and from the front to the behind. Folding it backwards, secure the thread in the front. I'm gonna add the last, uh, most likely the last one. So let me get the fiber. <clears throat> Just in case it's not the last one, I think it's going to be the last one, but you never know. Yeah, it's going to be the last one. the front to the back front to the front back to the front front to the back and secure the thread Tight wraps to the tying point. Now we have a good volume of uh, bait fiber in the front. As you see, so you're just going to secure the thread. Two or three times. Then cut it off. <clears throat> I 
I'm not gonna change the video and then just cut the le leftovers on the sides. As you see, it's very wide. It's like an airplane. So here we have the tarpon toad of the toad. So I want to cut it in uh, in a good uh, shape. So just take my scissor. And there we go. One of my favorite toads. Uh, black and uh, purple. Uh, also as I did before, you know, black and, black and fluorescent pink. It's really effective. I'm gonna make uh, a few others, you know, chatras and yellow, etc. But, but this one, mm, I love it. That's how you do my favorite toad, the black and purple one. Um, very, very simple, you know, just make sure you got the good quality material. You know, you should have a proper marabo, good sunkers and um, a nice uh, um, fibers in the front, right? So, so, and the hook, yeah, <laughs> come on, it's tarpon fishing. You don't want to have a sheep hook. Uh, buy, buy the most expensive hook you can find in the world, right? Mm. Tiemco or yeah, Arix or Gamakatsu, whatever, uh, they, they are great hooks. So, yeah, if, if you like what I'm doing, hopefully you do. Uh, um, I'm gonna add videos here, uh, me tying uh, different kind of flies, you know, uh, everything, predator flies, pack flies, uh, classic salmon flies, tube flies. Uh, on this side, uh, I'm gonna add a subscribe button, so, you know, uh, thanks a lot for your support, uh, you know, hit, hit the bells, share the video, why not? Uh, and uh, yeah, we're closing up to 300 subscribers. I'm very excited. Uh, um, looking forward to, to the next video. I'm gonna do some uh, uh, bone fish patterns. Um, so see you, see you in the next video. And thanks a lot for now. Take care. Bye.